The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, Mr. Telefaro TV, how's everybody doing? Hey, yo, somebody hit me on IG and salute to the whoever the guy was who hit me on IG. And he was like, did Young Dolph sign Mace? And do you guys realize how crazy that sounds just to hear that not knowing any context to why somebody would ask you, did Young Dolph sign Mace? I, I laughed my ass off at that comment over and over again. No disrespect to Dolph or no disrespect to Mace. It's just not something you expect to hear on a day-to-day -day basis. Did Young Dolph sign Mace the Paper Route Empire? Then I did some research and found out what the hell, what, what, did, what did that even come from? And some people started that mentioning me. Salute to everybody that, that rocks with me on other social platforms. And please subscribe to my channel. 100K is, uh, man, do I even get to say on the way? I've been saying on the way the whole time. We're, shoot, we're darn it here, right? Anyways, um, what has happened is Mace has somehow copped a paper route empire chain. All right, obviously we know this is Young Dolph's label. A label that the brother has been working. Honestly, I think uh, it's safe to say Jay Fizzle's brand is at an all-time high. He's out of Memphis. Key Glock's brand is uh, is, is is picking up some steam. I, I look at Key Glock, and I have not heard a, a crap ton of music from him. But the couple records I heard, he got that same Dolph type arrogance to him, and I, and I like that. He, I think he can go some far places with that. And his shows, he's doing shows and stuff like that. So Dolph is is starting to grow his empire, but he's building his artists from the ground up. Um, and, I, and I respect that a lot about Dolph and, and him grinding and, and, and growing the brand. Maze had this Paper Route Empire chain on, and I found out that no, Maze has not signed to Paper Route Empire. Now, to, to just put in context who, who Maze is, for those who don't get him, it's tough to get him. I, I want to use this term in the most respectful way possible, but Maze is a little bit delusional. In regards to his spot in rap, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you ask Mace today, who's the biggest rapper out in 2017 slash 18, where I was most at the new year, I'm pretty sure he'd say himself. I don't think Mace ever transitioned out of the early 2000s into 2017, hell, let alone 2018. I don't think he's ever made that transition. Um, if you just kind of watch his moves and watch him in interviews and how he talks. I seen that nigga doing a freestyle over truffle butter the other day. I was like, yo, how in the hell did you pick truffle butter? Uh, that record's like, what, six, seven, eight years old? I, anyways, it's just who he is. I, I think he's a little bit delusional in that regard, but hey, sometimes delusional slash crazy uh, makes for the most successful people. I think he's a little bit delusional, so I think it's a little bit unconventional to see somebody cop a paper route empire chain or any chain of a label and just go out and buy it themselves. Uh, without any connection to the artist or their label. It's a little bit delusional. There, there could be a couple things that ha could have happened. Maybe he did hit up Dolph and was like, yo, I like your chain. Can I just show you a little love? Um, can I rock your chain? Or maybe they went to the same jeweler and that jeweler was somebody who already had that chain created. Maybe he was planning on giving it to Dolph or maybe it's like somewhere in the shop. You can see that he made that chain. Maybe May said I liked it and decided to rock it. The bottom line is, Mace is not signed to Paper Route Empire. That is crazy. What a year Young Dolph has had. He got a freaking rumor that he signed. Mace out of all people. One of the rappers, one of the... There's only so many rappers that was on a record with Biggie still alive, right? And Mace is one of them. That is crazy to even think about. Talk to me in the comment box below. Yo, did y'all really think Mace was signing to Paper Route Empire? Talk to me. And what, would it be a good look? Let's just play hypothetics here. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this. And by the way, for the record, May said in the in the picture that he posted on his IG, he said something along the lines of just showing love, right? He, he said, I'm not signed. He pretty much told you guys, for the ones who decided to read, I'm not signed to Young Dolph. I'm just hashtag showing love, all right? Subscribe to my channel. For more exclusive content like this, I'm pretty sure Dolph will appreciate the love. And I might do a one more story on Dolph before the end of the year. I might do like a little year recap piece on a few artists. And Dolph might be one of them, being that he's one of the more popular artists on my channel. 100,000. Well, I ain't saying we on the way no more. 100,000. We here. 500 subscribers away. Let's go. I'm out.
I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah.